Hello everyone, how are you? I would like to bring this to your consideration today. Do you realize that lawyers take a lot of things into account before they take a case? Do you know that they weigh the facts of everything? They consider the pros, they consider the cons, they consider or they contemplate uh, consequences and all this stuff before they take a case? Listen, I wanna share this with you. God doesn't do that with us. Think about that for a second. Our case has already been won. Our case was taken even before we were born. Our case was considered to be a winning case, not because of how good we were, because of how good the guy that paid the price for our sin was. His name is Jesus. Realize that God takes our case every time. And even though we are considered to be guilty by our sin and our transgressions and our evilness and our bad thoughts and our bad intentions, God decided to take our case by sending his son, Jesus Christ to pay and die for your sins. He didn't measure the consequences that you might deny him. He didn't measure the consequences that you might at some point betray him. He didn't go and consider the fact and say, because of this, I will not. But instead of that, he said, regardless of that, I will pay the price. Listen to this. You, my friend, are a new creation in Jesus Christ. There's nothing that you need to go try and prove because it's done automatically with the change that Jesus Christ provides. The change that Jesus Christ provides automatically brings the change. And because your life was changed, there is nothing else that you need to do. Listen, God was thinking of you every single moment before you were born, while you were in your mother's womb, he already had a plan set in course for your forgiveness. Notice what I said. He didn't have a plan in course for the mistakes that you and I were going to make. He didn't have a plan in course for the decisions that we were going to make that were going to offend him and his glory. He had a plan for our forgiveness, regardless of our offenses to him. I want you to think of this. You are worth it. You are worth it. God decided that the plan that he had was worth it for you to be able to be redeemed, forgiven, to be saved from the sin that was condemning you because of your decisions and your choices. Think about this. When we had condemned ourselves, Christ was the atonement or he was the offering for you to be rendered not guilty. God loves you. God knows where you are. God knows who you are. God knows your faults. God knows your fears. God knows your pains. God knows the parts in your life that you've hidden from everybody else. But he just wants you to surrender to him and let him take over those areas in your life, which you have not surrendered to him yet. Listen to what Lamentations 358 says. It says, you, Lord, you took up my case. You redeemed my life. Listen, my friend, your life has been redeemed. You are a new creation. You are somebody that has been given a new worth. Find him within your, find it within your heart. I'm sorry to let him do the changes, to let him do the things that you are seeking for and searching for in life. God loved you so much. God loved you that much that before he considered the possibility of losing the case, the case had already been won because of Jesus Christ. Don't let the enemy lie to you. Don't let the enemy deceive you. You were worth the price.